when it comes to setting up an investment goal, that is where Frank really um, sets you up. So the first thing you're going to get when you land on the dashboard um, after you click on start here, which is hopefully everyone's first port of call, is um, whether you want to save or invest. And for the sake of this uh, webinar, we're obviously talking about goal-based investing and not saving. So we're going to um, actually go for an investment goal. And once you go to investment goal, the app is going to just go through the steps very quickly. Um, and it's a three-step process. And then we're going to get to what are you investing towards? Ah, oh, sorry about that. It's jumped ahead. Um, and when you go to what you're investing towards, that's where you really put a, a label on, on what you're investing for. So in this case, if we want to be a millionaire in our 40s, we're, we're going for, for wealth. Um, if we're going towards a target, we're putting in a million rand. Um, as our target, we're going to say in 10 years time, so 2035, for example, and it's going to tell us what the recommended strategy is. And you'll see that it says bold there. And you can uh, toggle between monthly, weekly, annually, once off. I went, wanted to go with monthly. And that means we'd have to deposit 5,000 Rand. The beauty of this is that you can really play around. So you can see, um, you know, if you have a specific target and you put in your, your amount, um, how much you want to invest towards and what your timeline is, it tells you how much you need to invest towards. But I think Jennifer actually might have mentioned this earlier when it came to an emergency f uh, fund. So you knew how much you had to save towards an emergency fund. So you can you can choose to deposit regularly, say that's 500 Rand, for example, and it will then show you exactly how much that will grow over one year, two year, three year, five year, 10 years, um, if you continuously uh, deposit and invest that money. The next part of it is investment strategies. So you noticed that when you asked or that when you, when you inputted a million rand as your target amount, and you said you wanted to um, to to get to that target by ten years, it gave a bold strategy, and that's hopefully something that makes sense to you now when we talk about risk profiles matching timelines. Ten years is long term, and that means you go bold. Um, what you can do, however, is, and, and we really recommend that you explore it. Obviously, the recommended is based on your timeline, and, and that's really matching your risk to your timeline. But explore what the different options are. So um, this is just a quick walkthrough of some of the different um, in, uh, risk uh, profiles. Um, so when you click on edit, you can toggle between very safe, safe, balanced, bold. You can even make a custom one, for example. And these are combinations of the different types of funds. So a money market fund, a local equity fund, which is a Satrix Top 40 ETF, and, a, and an offshore equity fund, which is a Signatrix S&P 500. And it's the combination of these, as you can see here, that makes up the different risk profiles. So when it comes to very safe, you're going to have a 100% money market. It's a it's a very low risk um, investment. As soon as you get to balanced, you have kind of an even um, split of uh, money markets and equity and local and, and offshore equity, for example. Um, here's an example of you actually uh, toggling or um, customizing your investment strategy for yourself. And you can see you can uh, play around with the different cash and local and offshore equity to find a risk profile that really works for you.